about some of the biggest or largest bugs in the world. Great Mac is going to show you pictures of them, and you will also see them in action. What's that bug on your hand? Hercules beetles. Hercules beetles are very strong insects. They can lift up to 850 times heavier than their own weight. That's why they are called Hercules, because of their strength. The males have long horns that grow from their heads and middle of their bodies. There have been reports that the male beetle can reach up to about seven inches long. It makes a huffing sound when they're disturbed, and they do this by rubbing their abdomen against their wing casings. And what's that you got there, dude? It's a bird wing. A golden bird wing is a large tropical butterfly. They have a wingspan of about six inches. The females are larger than the males, and the females have black or dark brown wings. Next up, what's that, dude? Stag beetle. Stag beetles are United Kingdom's largest beetle. They're about seven and a half centimeters. That's about the size of an adult thumb. They're super easy to identify because they have massive antler jaws and red-brown bodies. Stag beetles may look scary, but they're actually not aggressive. Ew, is that what I think it is? Cockroach. Yeah. That's a Madagascar hissing cockroach. They're eerie. They're one of the largest species of cockroach. They can reach up to two to three inches long. These cockroaches have an oval shape and a shiny brown color. They like to hide in logs and plant litter. They are active during the night and prefer hunting for food at that time. Psst. While other bugs create sounds by rubbing body parts together, these cockroaches create sound by releasing air from their abdominal spiracles. Pretty amazing. This is an active bug. The Atlas moth is the largest moth in terms of wingspan. The Atlas moth has reddish brown wings with triangular patterns outlined in black. They have a very short lifespan. They're only able to live for about one to two weeks. What, Tommy? That's a giant vinegaroon! They do look like scorpions, but they're actually more closely related to spiders. They also have six legs. They have a flexible tail at the end of their abdomen, and that's why they're also called whip scorpions, because the tail looks like a whip. Their bodies are usually black with some reddish brown or brown sections. They can grow to around two inches long. That's a wild insect. Bye and thank you. We love you all. Thanks for watching. <laughs>